wrote this book, uh, Life of Abundance. Why did I write the book? Because I myself had this question. If Jesus promised us abundant life in John 10 verse 10, then why are we not living out this abundant life? Well, from my youth on, I actually lived a wonderful life. I had many hobbies, sports, like playing soccer, skiing, um, playing all kinds of ball sports, including ice hockey and so on. I fly the aeroplane. Uh, I, I saw many countries. Uh, so I should have the abundant life. But often I didn't feel like it. So it brought myself on a journey. And as I listened to many speeches, I listened to many sermons, or also I read many books, every time I find something that would, in a way, help me to answer this question, I would, I would take this piece, uh, put it in my heart or in my basket, and, and start to develop a reservoir of teachings that help me to finally got to the point where I can say, yes, I live that abundant life. Now, uh, in the Bible, there's another verse. It's in uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, where it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. Well, that's a good verse because, yes, I want to know what God's will is for my life. If he created me, if he's the architect of this world, I think he should know what an abundant life is like and how I gain it. So here it says it's all about transforming our mind. And actually, this is the key that I found. In this book, I introduce many topics, for example, how to open our eyes or how we can transform failure into something positive and so on. So I will go through many chapters with you and kind of um, trigger this uh, renewal or this transformation of our mind that suddenly even nothing has changed around us, but we feel different. We feel the abundance. Remember the story of the prodigal son in the Bible. When he left his father and he asked for his inheritance, he thought, when I go into the world, I will be a happy person. I will be fulfilled. I can do better than just staying at home with my father. Now, this father represented God, meaning that some of us feel, I don't need God. I can do things by myself. I can, you know, find fulfillment on my own way. But finally, this lost son, he came up uh, with having nothing, had nothing left. So he went back to the father. We know that many of you know this story. He was restored. He got a ring. He got new clothes, new shoes. Um, the father basically affirmed, you are still my son. So come home. And suddenly this son realized something. He realized that at the father's house, it's beautiful. It's great. I have a loving father who provides all for me. So nothing has changed. Only his sight has changed. Only his perception has changed. So I want to take you on this journey to change your perception and suddenly you will see all the things in your life from a different angle and I believe it will lead you into this abundant life. Time. Now I want to bless you and I'm looking forward to see you again. Bye bye.